Hey guys, Rich Langer here. I'm going to do a little video on what do I keep in that boat in the spring, so springtime. I'm going to give you a peek into a box that only comes into my boat for, you know, maybe a month out of the year, which is like my bed fishing box. So these are like my favorite tricks and treats for bass that are uh, they're bedding, right? So uh, if you got a spawning tournament or, you know, just looking for really big fish in the spring sometimes, this is the, the box that's in my boat. So let's take a peek. So couple drop shot baits that I really like. So drop shot is a key for me in the spring. Uh, one of them is this Biofex uh, cold tail and I got a whole bag of them here. Um, I like these kind of bright colors. They're pretty easy to see. They seem to agitate the fish but still look like a bait fish. Um, really good on a drop shot. You can really uh, get finicky fish to, uh, to strike on that. So it's just a little minnow bait. Slender, usually nose hook it. Um, the other counterpart to that, if I can't get to beat that, the other bait that I like on a drop shot are these little tiny tubes. And I got some perch ones here, um, kind of a little bluegill shad looking perch um, tube. I all got some natural color ones depending on what the fish are doing. I got some some smoke and some green pumpkin ones in here. Um, so that's, that's a good bait. I often rig that on a pretty short drop shot on a spinning rod. Uh, braid and sometimes straight braid depending on the water clarity other times to like a 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader and then I just nose hook that uh, just like that um, and kind of shove it up on the hook a little bit and then it's a really small profile and usually the fish suck it in pretty easily and you don't get a lot of tail biters with this setup and this is really good especially um, if the fish are chasing bluegills or chasing bait out of the bed uh, or for garden fry, this seems like it's like almost automatic when other things don't work at all. So that, that's that's one of the key baits that I like. Um, another thing out here, I got several of these uh, big bite baits, uh, warm mouths in different colors, um, and I just rig that on a Texas rig or on a jig head, flat like this, and it's something you can just pitch to the bed. Um, a lot of times, if it looks like there's a bluegill down in that bed. Um, rooting around, it can really get that fish agitated into striking. And sometimes it just gets them fired up and then you come back with a different bait. So sometimes they really eat this bait and other times I just use it as kind of a, you know, to get them fired up and agitated. So uh, some people use swim baits that way too. I use this a little smaller, it kind of works. It's kind of a hybrid and you can still catch fish that way. Um, I also got an array of uh, white baits in here, uh, like this Rage Bug, um, these little Demiki Hydras. Um, you know, I got some white stick baits, some other little white minnow baits and things like that. Um, lizards, things like that, little rage craws. And a lot of times these white baits, I either fish them on a Texas rig or sometimes I'll fish them on a, a Jika rig like this. So with a little like tungsten pencil weight, you can see I got one right here on this rod uh, with the rage bug. But you can buy them or you can make your own. Uh, but it just gives that, stands up. It's like a really tiny short drop shot. And you know the white is good. It, it okay. helps you see it. Um, sometimes it agitates the fish. Sometimes you catch it. You know, real big. Um, and then you know that doesn't always work. And sometimes you use the white baits to see with the fish how they're reacting, where in the bed they're sensitive to. Um, and if they won't bite, you know these the, the, the war mouth or one of these white baits um, or the drop shot, which is rare, then I usually come in with something natural, right? I'll have a wacky senko or a tube or a creature bait and then like a green pumpkin natural that I'll throw back in there on a Texas rig. And between those four setups, it seems like I can catch, you know, any of the bass that are willing to bite. I mean, there's always bass that won't stay in the bed or won't really have any part of you being anywhere near them or, or really won't bite. But I think if you try these tricks <clears throat> and this array of baits, I think it'd be pretty successful. So that's what's in my bed box. Um, I'm going to splice in a few fish catches in here or maybe put them at the end. And you can see how uh, how I use these different tactics and some examples of me catching fish on them. So, thanks for tuning in.